So, today I'm going to be covering a lot, a lot about flips and twists, um, but I want to make a disclaimer that this is not a tutorial on how to flip or twist. Um, this is a conceptual presentation for the development of your understanding regarding flips and twisting. Um, so no time during this presentation will I be giving a tutorial on any specific trick. I'm not gonna teach you how to Webster, I'm not gonna teach you how to B-twist. Um, however, if you pay close attention to all of the tools that I give you, um, you will be 110% better off at analyzing your tricks, troubleshooting them, identifying exactly where you're losing power or you have too much power. Um, I've broken it down into a super simple science um, so that you can literally do a trick and then immediately afterwards know exactly what went wrong and what you need to do in order to take yourself um, to where you want to be. Uh, so, that being said, um, before we begin, I am going to play this video. Um, this is the very first video that I ever filmed. I had been training for two years at the time of this video. Um, I'm 13 in this video, uh, so you guys will get to see that uh, funky little kid Justin was talking about. Um, the first thing I ever did, literally the very first thing when I got a camera, was made a tutorial because I love parkour and I love free running. And even more than I love doing the movement, I get such a sense of fulfillment from helping other people um, achieve their movement and, and, and achieve what they want to do. So this was the very first video I ever made. Um, and then after this, uh, I'll play a video that I recently filmed so we can kind of look at the differences there, but <laughs> enjoy this, I guess. Hi, I'm Chris Hollingsworth. I'm a free runner, and I'm going to be doing some cool tricks for you today. The first trick I'm going to do is a front flip. trying it on the ground first or going to a place like art sports or aerials to get a good hold on it. Now you can try it on the trampoline too, but I don't recommend trying it on the ground. The next trick I'm going to do is called a butterfly kick. This is a kick from Jiu Jitsu. You're going to put your left foot forward and then you're going to dive down and kick up with both legs like this. You can do it with or without a takeoff. I'm going to be doing both. This is without a takeoff. That's without a takeoff. This is with a takeoff. Notice how I skip. The next trick I'm going to be doing is a butterfly kick 360. This is similar to the butterfly kick, except it's in 360 format. 360 format. <laughs> Yo, count, count the wind-ups, ready? This is essential for free running. This is essential for free running. <laughs> Two-handed cartwheel. 
Hope you enjoyed uh, the presentation. <laughs> you should all be experts on uh, flipping and twisting. Right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh God! Um, <laughs> that video is unlisted, and it has. Uh, before I took it down, um, it had like 15,000 views on YouTube. It was one of the very first tutorials for parkour and free running that was ever put on YouTube, and uh, I actually was like reading through the comments last night, and they are just. So bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll post some on Facebook later. Like, they're just, oh, they're awful. Um, so, to give you an idea um, of it, if you aren't familiar, like, with uh, just, like, what I've been doing the last few years, um, this is an Instagram compilation that I put together while I was in San Diego um, that kind of uh, accentuates, like, just the style that I have now. So I'm going to play that. Um, and this is, what, 12 years of training. Has done. Oh. <laughs> you can kind of hear Corey laugh because I'm always sticking things really yes. stupidly. Like Frogs, those are really important. Essential. Essential for free running. <laughs> it's true, it doesn't count. Your hands touch. Little shin slide there. This footage is about um, a year to almost two years old as well. Freedom in Motion, shout out to Freedom in Motion, they're awesome. They're opening up a new location. If you guys ever get the chance to head on over there, they're pretty wonderful. Balboa Park, San Diego, awesome place as well. If you're ever in California, I recommend checking that out. <laughs> it's my hype train. So I do jump sometimes. Um, <laughs> Alright, so that's just a little compilation of some stuff that I've recently done. Um, Alright, so about me, some qualifications, um, why I have been able to put this together. Um, I've been training for 12 years, uh, starting July 28th. July 28th marks the first day that I went outside and was like, I'm doing parkour, like I'm actually doing this sport. Like I'd been running and jumping and climbing and flipping before that, but that was the first day I actually called it parkour and free running. Um, I have over 13,000 hours logged into training time um, in journals and in training logs. Uh, I've coached for the last seven years and I have a little over 5,000 hours logged into my coaching. Um, I've landed triple aerial twists, butterfly twists, and cork outside. Um, I have a functional fitness certification through Parkour Generations. I'm WFPF Level 2 certified. Um, I went to college for athletic training and practicum in sports injury prevention. I'm a certified athletic trainer, certified personal trainer. Um, I've been a program director at two different locations, and I've written three different curriculums for free running. Um, I've coached over 300 private lessons since I began teaching. Um, I've trained four XMA national tricking champions with flipping form and technique. So, 
this, um, this seminar is uh, entirely based off of the experience that I've gained um, through all that stuff listed. Um, so this workshop is going to be um, heavily, heavily, heavily based off of the